Hey guys, how's it going? This is X Products. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. I've done a video in the past where I had um, two 1080Ti's, an SLI, and then I disabled SLI and just did PhysX um, with one of the cards and just did a comparison with Metro Last Light Redux. I'm doing it again, but I only have one 1080Ti now and I have a 980 is for my uh, test bench. So I'm going to be putting this in Going to be doing the comparison first with a single 1080 Ti on Metro Last Light Redux, and then going to be popping in this card right here and make this a dedicated physics card and see if it makes a difference. So it'll be a fun little test, so let's do it. Sorry for the background. It's a dope background, but it's kind of in the PC right here. See? There's the, <laughs> there's the um, 280 millimeter AIO Corsair to uh, 140s. And um, yeah, it's got an i9 9900K and two 16 gig sticks, so 32 gigs of DDR4 3600 megahertz, 1080 Ti. And I got these uh, extension cables. This one takes an eight pin and a six pin. And I got my 24 pin, 20 plus four, and then uh, an eight and then a four pin, I do believe, or eight plus six, I forgot. But um, anyways, I don't have more of these extensions, so I'm just gonna be using um, you know, the standard black cable that came with it. So I got two eights right here, which this card only needs two sixes. So there you go. Not the best lighting, but this will glow uh, green right here. And if it does make a difference, I do believe it will. I might just, I can't really keep it in the card. I mean, in the PC right here, because this is a test bench GPU and I don't really want to take it away. You know what I mean? Because otherwise I have a 660 for that i5 and I'd like more power. 980 is a lot more powerful than a 660. So yeah, it has four gigs of VRAM, in case you guys forgot. Takes uh, two six pins. It does have a backplate, non-RGB, but it looks pretty dope, I think. But yeah, this is the front of the card. And then the ports. Display port, display port, HDMI, and then another display port, and then DVI. So this will do 4K 60, um, and I think it will do um, 1440p at 144 hertz too. You can have to play lighter titles for that one, but all right. So I'm just downloading um, Metro Last Light. I can get up to 63, 64 megabits a second, but right now I'm pushing. 47.6, the highest 50. So that's lame. So it's going to take another 12 minutes. So, yeah. Come on. I'll play some Modern Warfare after this. <laughs> All right. I'm doing a Metro Last Light Redux test. Show you my settings real quick as soon as this is done. All right, so in video, got motion blur off. Forgot that was on. Okay, so 1440p, very high settings, 2x SSAA. So this is actually pretty demanding. If I um, if you do play normally, I'd turn that off just because you get way more FPS. It just kills it. But I just wanted to get lower FPS and have it push it harder. And um, tessellation very high, VSync off, so I can see how many frames I get. And in game options, you want advanced physics. You want to check that. And then I uh, should be good to go. Chapters, I'm going to make sure I'm doing the uh, most recent one. Yes, one second. Oh, um, why am I not the other spot? Whatever. What? Is this running? Oh, no, I'm crawling, sorry. So as soon as I get a gun, Do I have a gun? So 52 FPS. 
53. Ow, ought to hurt my knees. All right, so I'm not gonna actually play the game right now. I'm just gonna do a test. So just shoot this thing right here. 80 FPS, 73, that was the lowest. Yeah, I know. 73, can I lower it? 72, 71. It's not really shooting too much. Okay, now that is 67, 65. Don't kill me, guys. Just doing a test. All right, he'd be dead, All right? Up. How do you survive that? Don't shoot me. Oh, I'm so dead. Why is he catching on fire? My bullets, fire bullets. Ah! <laughs> All right, am I good? Good? Shoot this thing. Yeah, that would've helped. So yeah, I don't even know what the lowest frame rate was, but 60, 63 probably. Ah, you bitch. 75 FPS. Just go over here. Ah, ah, ah. Bet you won't. All right, so that, yeah, that is the test right there, guys. All right, so that was the test. I'm going to be putting in this 980 as a dedicated physics card and do the same exact test and uh, see if she improves and then probably take her out eventually and put her on my test bench when I do another video for it. <laughs> so taking apart my computer, you can see the lighting isn't the best, but um, there's a um, another PCI lane right here, and then a very, another one at the bottom, a PCIe. Um, but that one is a kind of like a, a backing for it, like an armor plating. And so is this one. This is only if only one card is going to be inserted, connected to it, it's going to run at 16x. But if two are going to be inserted right there, that's going to be uh, eight, 8x and 8x. And I can't really put the bottom one because that's going to be a 4x. And um, I can't really like I have this. Oh, I have this US uh, SATA card right here. It has four. I can uh, have four more hard drives, you know, hooked up before SSD is hooked up to my PC. That's why I have this. Um, so the connectors are right there, and I can't really put it where it usually goes because I need to mount the GP right there, and it's too thick to do a slot. And uh, I can't really do that. So I'm just going to leave it unconnected and put this GPU in that slot right there to do two 8Xs. And then hopefully my game is not on one of these drives. So I have six other drives. So I have a chance that it's still connected. <laughs> Let's test her. And there she is, guys. 980 is installed. So it's 28X now. I love having two cards in my system. It looks so dope. All right, let's see if it actually uh, improves PhysX and Metro Last Light Redux. So as you can see, Metro Last Light Redux is not downloaded needs to be installed so one of my drives is connected the one that's actually on there actually connected to one of these SATA cards right here or SATA ports okay so this right here physics settings if I add the 980, 980 dedicated to physics and then apply applying changes okay so yeah 980 is dedicated to physics so she should be good now. All I have to do is just turn off my computer and uh, see if I can put that slot up there because my other one is going to be blocking. It's like right here where this is blocking it. I don't have another option. It's just another PCIe lane. And uh, that one is obviously not a PCIe lane. So let's try and see if I can uh, get her up and running on the SATA card. So as you can see, 
the cable is, I want to say the cable is lightly touching the back of the PCB of the, it's not preferred. I don't think it'll damage anything. It's just, I mean, it's coated and everything. It's lightly putting pressure on it, just lightly. So I think it'll be fine. It'll only be it for a little bit anyways. I'm going to be taking it out and uh, taking that GPU out and putting it back and putting the back plate on and making everything perfect. So let's see, let's see if it sees it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it would short anything out, you know what I mean? If it was like metal against metal, you know, I understand that. But this is coated and I think it'll be fine. And it shouldn't heat up that much, you know. Just a quick test. All right, plug in that card in. I have all four extra SATA cables plugged in, all the drives. All 10 drives are in, installed now. Awesome, it's working perfectly fine. So... Yeah, let's uh let's do this test and I'll take it apart. Poor GPU backplate. It's like oh. <laughs> I think it looks dope though, besides I mean if this was like fixed and stuff, I think I love the dual cards so. though. Alright, let's do it. Alright, GPU one and GPU two. Sick. Should sh come on, update, update, come on. Why? Okay. It is seeing both cards though, so let's just do it. Do them side by side here. Shit! I knew you wouldn't abandon me. I knew it. You're a true prophet. In the depth for life. Now get me out of here, and I'll lead you home in no time. Fuck! So they're coming for me. They're taking me to the news. Good luck, my friend. You're my only hope now. 68 FPS. I'm thinking it was higher before. He's so mean. Um, let me see. GPU usage. The clocks are 1885. Um, GPU usage on the first card is 98, and GPU 2 usage is 9, I guess. Ooh. Okay. 55 FPS. That is not better. This is worse. What? <laughs> I thought it'd be better. Like, if the other one's being used 100%, then any physics... You know, okay, 99 and 8, eight. okay. You jump down here. Okay, 80. Okay, so I was over here. I was shooting this, and I was shooting the ground. Okay, it dropped to 63. Look at that, 78, 79. Look at that, that's nice. 75. It is not dropping past that. That's awesome. So there's an improvement, lightly. When this guy gets here, I'm just going to shoot this thing. Oh, am I good? Get on fire. No, 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 no. No, don't make light me. You... Am I good now? You good? Okay. I shot you so many times, you should be dead. But yeah, this is a little bit better. It's a little bit. It's only gonna really work in physics based games, you know? Like the it's not if it doesn't see a physics, it's not gonna really do anything um, other than draw more power and a little bit more heat, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's an improvement. I didn't check for drivers after. I just kind of threw it in. But it saw it, and it detected it, and it accepted it. So but yeah, there you guys go. I did it for you. I risked everything for you guys. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take it apart, and um, should be back to normal again. But yeah, quick little test there, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed.
conclusion, all right? Is it worth it? Maybe you play a lot of physics games and you want a second card. You think it looks cool. Um, it's really up to you, but, I mean, there's a couple ideas, you know. It's better to have one really powerful card versus, you know, a lesser card and then even a weaker card is a dedicated physics. But if you have something laying around, you can't sell it, and you just want to use it while you're trying to sell it or something like that, I don't know. But, I don't know, guys. I think it's pretty cool. It made a difference. There was a noticeable improvement. It was about 10 FPS. And, um, you know, when the physics are actually happening, you're not really losing that. You're actually keeping it up with the, the dedicated physics card. So it's not a total waste, but you could use your money spent elsewhere, you know what I mean, on your system. So I really wouldn't recommend it, but still kind of a cool test, I think. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. All right. Deuces. <laughs>